Hello everyone, this is Rick and welcome to the another episode of King Sacrifice. So in this video I'm gonna show you a game played by both official world chess champion. So he is none other than Alexander Alekhine, who was a Russian and French chess player. He is widely considered to be one of the greatest chess players of all time. By the age of 22, Alakhan was already among the strongest chess players in the world. So, in this game, he is against Emmanuel Lasker, who is playing with the black pieces. So, Emmanuel Lasker is also a second official world chess champion. I also made a video on one of his greatest games, to check that out. So, here Capablanca started with the move d4, and Lasker replied with the move d5 c4 e6 knight to c3 knight to f6 knight to f3 bishop to e7 bishop to g5 knight b to d7 e3 castles bishop to c1 c6 bishop to d3 d takes on c4 bishop takes on c4 and if your black plays to move b5 then it will lead to a variation of semislav but black here played the move knight to d5 after which bishop captures on the e7 bishop queen takes on e7 and white here played knight to e4 so instead of knight to e4 castles b6 and e4 would have been played by white but he chose to play knight to e4 after which black played knight 5 to f6 and here white just would have took on the f6 knight after which queen takes on f6 and castles which would have led to an equal game but here white knight retreated to g3 after which e5 castles e takes on d4 knight to f5 queen d8 knight 3 takes on d4 Knight to e5, bishop to b3, bishop takes on f5, knight takes on f5. And now here, black just played the move queen b6 in the game, but here he would have played the move g6 to repute the knight on the f5, after which queen to d4, attacking the knight on the e5. So here, Black can just take the queen and after which knight takes on d4 so this position would also have led to an equal game but in the game black played queen to b6 which was just not a good square for the queen after which white just played the move queen to d6 attacking the knight you see that here if the rook protects the knight it will just not be a good game for black because knight to e7 check king to h8 queen takes on e5 knight to g8 at d5 rook takes on e5 knight takes on b6 a takes on b6 bishop takes on f7 after which white has a clear pawn up and also created a passer on the e3 but in the game, black chose to play knight e to d7, after which rook f to d1, rook a to d8, queen to g3, g6, queen to g5, black played the move king to h8, knight to d6, is attacking the f7 pawn, so the king moved to g7, after which white played the move e4, so the whole point of playing the move e4 was that after knight to g8 the rook can come over the d3 square and so it could gain the third rank to attack black king but after the move black is going to play he just lost because
because he played f6 and we just like to mate in five combination so if you want you can pause the video and check the position so here white just played the move knight to f5 check first king to h8 only the move and now here again white played a spectacular move that is queen takes on g6 so if here h takes on g6 rook h3 check knight to h6 rook takes on h6 so we are checkmate so only a move that can last longer is rook to f7 after which queen takes on f7 queen takes on f2 king takes on f2 and whatever move back pays for suppose knight to e5 queen to g7 would be a checkmate so before you quit the video i also do like to talk about one of the game played by other kind which is just 10 moves longer so in this game there is nothing nothing much to show but a tactical idea at the end of the game so here white played so here keep it. i'm sorry alexander alekhan was against vesic where alekhan played e4 vesic played e6 d4 d5 knight to c3 bishop to b4 so it is the winner variation of french defense bishop to d3 bishop takes on c3 giving a check b takes on c3 h6 bishop to a3 knight to d7 queen to e2 so white just prepared his plan from this move d takes on e4 bishop takes on e4 knight g to f6 bishop to d3 and so here black just made one blunder which straight away ended the game so he played the move b6 and you can pause the video and search for the mating combination it is a good tactical position so here white played queen takes on e6 so here if black plays queen to e7 then queen takes on e7 would be a checkmate if f takes on e6 then bishop to g6 will be a checkmate from another side so we just saw two of the greatest game played by Alekhain where in the first game he sacrificed his queen in order to mate black king and in the second game he did the same by sacrificing his queen on the e6 square and thus winning the game so this was all about today's video please support us by subscribing our channel and also do not forget to hit the like button below the video thank you for watching and see you on the next episode of king sacrifice